Hey everyone, Jessica Peterson here with Simply Wow Agency and a real estate agent with the Luxury Team brokered by EXP Realty. And I'm so excited on Real Estate Agents Who Wow today to have the amazing Jay. I actually had the honor to speak with you on stage recently and you wowed me, Jay. You did an amazing job. Come on. You know what? Like you wow me with how good you are to people. So I love that. Thanks. And the, the amazing Jay, I might actually use that. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Go ahead and use the amazing Jay. Okay, so we are all about, you know, wow power players. I have a community of real estate agents who are on a mission to wow people, grow their businesses, and create a wow life, right? Because we all deserve to have a life and, and all of us that we want and desire. And one of the things I teach is riches and niches. And I love that you have different niche pockets. And one of them, which is the hottest, hottest subjects right now, and I know you are a master at this, is for sale by owners. So can we go ahead and get a little sneak peek into your program today with some of your super secrets you share um, for your clients that you teach on for sale by owners? Can we do that, Jay? Pretty sure. Cool. Yeah. Let's let's dig in. I'll give like the the main stuff. I'll give I'll give your listeners their meds, right? The minimum effective dose. Okay, so that we can like so that they can actually take this, use it into practicality, and make more money right away. And I um, love just so you know, they kind of know my credentials, like, and I don't know if you know this, but um, in the, like over the 15 years I've been selling real estate, sold over 1400 homes, but that, that's not what is, what's important. What's important is one out of every 20 for sale by owners that I call is a closed sale. Those wow. are the numbers. Yes. And there's nothing special with me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm good at what I do because I know what to do and I do it. So if anyone takes what I'm going to teach them and does it, you can have those results too. No superpowers here. And you're also top 1%, right? Agents? Yeah. Top percent, uh, top 1% in the country. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. That's super powerful. And, and how I look at it. So I'm a certified business coach, certified life coach. And I'll never forget my certification for life coaching. It's kind of like a recipe. You have a recipe for that success, right? If you're going to go ahead and make something and you don't, have step by step how to create it, it's more challenging. So you've got this follow step by step and you're gonna create success, right? This, you have the recipe success for, for sub by owner. So can you share your screen so we can have a sneak peek yeah. of some of your training? Okay, cool. Yep, yeah, let's do that. And uh, I love what you just said there too, um, as far as you know, you need the step by step because it, when, you know, whether you're a new agent or you've been in the, uh, in, in the business a while, you, there's just so much conflicting information because everybody's an expert. Okay. Yeah. Right. So there's so much conflicting information and so many gurus that, you know, claim to be teaching the right thing. And we have the shiny object syndrome. So we're always like, Oh yeah, let me try that. Let me try that. Let me try that. You know, and you, people end up getting confused and they get off target. What I'm going to show you because we all have a gift, right? My gift is the art of influence, persuasion and helping. And what that means is getting someone to the desired result that they want with their reasons. I'm not convincing anyone, okay? And that's why a lot of people have like the, uh, they think of uh, sales as a bastardized word, but it's not, okay? It's just been misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna show you how to use some of these sales skills like right away. So you ready, Jess? I, I am totally ready. Let's go. Awesome. Oh, and I see you this is I see it's slide 45, so I know you're not giving away everything, which I appreciate. And I do want you to go and share with everyone about your incredible program. So, okay, so let's dive into slide 45 on capture. I like this photo, it's so cool. Cool, yeah, you like that? So this is part of being different, okay? And um, it, when, you, when you're talking to somebody on the phone and it's a for sale by owner, what do we know about the for sale by owner? Like number one, we know that to accomplish anything, we have to know, understand their core belief system but not really them as an individual, but as a whole, right? So what's happening with the for sale by owner? They're getting called by a lot of agents. They are listing it by themselves because they want to save the commission. And to be honest with you, a lot of the consumers out there, because knowledge is so readily available, not like 20 years ago, okay? Um, and the commission is relatively the same. Uh, we, they have more knowledge. And um, it's the price points are higher, so they're paying more. They feel like, uh, well, what makes you different? You know, all real estate agents are the same. And in a lot of states, you know, it's under 100 hours to get a real estate license. And in the state of Florida, it takes 2,000 hours to be a barber, to cut somebody's hair, 
right? Which I love a good haircut, don't get me wrong, but um, to sell someone's most valuable asset, the barriers of entry are very low. So we have to be really good and this is what you're gonna be. So you must be different instantly on the phone. You have to capture their attention. And there's different ways of doing that, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple of quick ways and I'm gonna show you the proof behind what I'm saying here as well. You only have three seconds because the average attention span of a goldfish is nine seconds and ours online or on the phone is three to five seconds. No joke. And I know you see me very animated here and energy and enthusiastic. Like I'm usually like that, but when I'm talking about sales and influencing people to do the right thing for themselves and helping them get there, it makes me feel really damn good. So I'm passionate about it, okay? And I hope you are too. I'm sure that your listeners all are and that's why they're listening to you. Um, so you have three to five seconds and what they're hearing from other agents that are bombarding them on the phone is they're hearing um, that, well, are you sure that you can sell it yourself or I have a buyer for the property, right? Like they're hearing all the same things. So you have to understand that and that's another reason why you have to be different. Now, the three to five seconds in capturing their attention now picture yourself, right? You go on Facebook, every third post that you read, everything that comes up in your feed is like a, an, an ad, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're getting bombarded with this information. And let me ask you a question. Now or even 10 years ago, do we have to do, do we have more or less time to do what we need to do? We have less time. We have to do more with less. And that continues to go and go and go and proceed. So you only have that much time, okay? So I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to do that. And there's three steps, okay, in, in the initial call with the for sale by owner. And that is capture, compel, and convert. Okay, captures, getting their attention. Compel is moving them because we all make emotional decisions and then we justify them with logic. And everybody has, uh, you know, when they want to sell their home, and I'll briefly talk about that on the compel, but... Um, when everybody wants to sell their home and they want to get to uh, another state or just move somewhere else, there's a much deeper reason than they're usually telling you because we all have these defense mechanisms. So we put up these smoke screens. Okay. So I'm going to show you just to identify that, know that it's okay and how to uh, not crush objections, which you can do when you know this stuff anyway, but how to eliminate them from ever happening at all by addressing them up front, which would be awesome, right? Yes, that's the answer. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like how do you like a quiz when you already have the answers? Pretty good. I um, love it. Okay, 100%. by, by okay. using pitch and tonality, mm -hmm. a lot of folks that, uh, that make calls, right, you know, they're sitting down, you can hear, um, you can hear like that, you just don't, you don't feel people, okay, so you have to adjust your pitch and your tonality on the phone. So, Hey, I'm calling for John, uh, or I'm calling for the um, I'm calling about the home for sale. Is this the owner? Yeah, this is the owner. Who's this? Hey, this is Jay. I'm a local realtor. So see what I'm doing? I'm adjusting the pitch and the tonality. Okay, and it's important to do that because right here, 80% of communication over the phone is not what you say. Okay, but it's how you say it. It's how you capture their attention. This is the most critical part. If you don't do this part you will not be able to have any opportunity, okay? So you have to get this right. And then uh, the last part about capture that I'll share with you right now is energy enthusiastic, uh, enthusiasm. So this dude, not enthusiastic. So that's a little joke. Hopefully you guys get that. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> but to, to have energy and enthusiasm on the phone, uh, you have to stand up, you have to have energy, you have to change your state because if you don't change your state, how are you gonna be able to change somebody else's? Answer is, you're not, okay? So energy and enthusiasm is a must. And I'll tell you, I've worked with agents, tons of agents who have almost zero sales skills and are brand new to the business, but have energy and enthusiasm on their calls. It translates over the phone. They know how to capture them. They know this process and then they get the listings and I have many of them that have sold over six figures in their first year. All right, so... Let's go then to compel, all right? So it's all about the influence and moving people. So here's some tips on how to compel them in the conversation. So you capture their attention, great. Now you have to compel them. Mirroring and match, but first identify their personality type. We're all different. Um, some of us are expressive, some of us are analytical, driver, amiable. Understanding that is what's important. 
So one of the first questions that you ask is, um, great, I'm wondering, can you tell me a little bit more about the home? Or what can you tell me about the home? Now their answer is going to trigger what personality type they are. And by understanding that, you will have a tool, right? And know how to use that tool in the rest of the conversation. Um, which, uh, if it's a driver and they say, well, you see the pictures online, don't you? Okay, well, we know they're a driver, right? If they say, uh, yeah, well, the home, uh, 16 years ago, we spent $7,200 on the roof and uh, 2.4, like, okay, they're analytical. So you know that they're gonna want numbers, you know that when you show up, they're definitely gonna be, wanna be focused on the net sheet and you're gonna have to prove whatever you're charging, okay? Like, these things are very important. And then expressive and amiables, they have triggers too. Um, this will also help you mirror and match in the conversation uh, more, and that's something I teach as well and more questions and listen more, which um, if you've ever heard of the play Hamilton or seen it or listen to the soundtrack, there's a song like talk less, smile more, right? I'm not a good singer, but you get the point. <laughs> Most of us, what we do, we don't control the conversation because we don't know what to ask. And then we're getting drilled with all these questions and then we're just like fielding the answers and then we're not doing our job because they're not we're not putting certainty in their hearts that we're the right fit we're not showing them our authority and leadership that we actually know what we're doing and this is one of the reasons why a lot of agents have this mindset of like oh i'm not good enough i haven't been in the business long enough it's like no don't worry about that all you need to know is like how to do this and the rest is going to come like that's it it's literally that easy. Um, so then let me get to the convert part. Um, and there's more to it because I, I break it down anyway in this presentation, um, which we, we're not going to go over now. We don't have the time, but I break it down into the um, how to capture, compel, and convert them in the conversation and using the Blue Ocean Fizbo script. But um, to go through this slide, so you have an idea of how to convert them, which is the last step of that initial phone call, um, is you have to understand that you are the solution to their problem. So you have to understand what their problem is, okay? And everybody has different problems and you can't ever assume. Um, when I say VOC here, that means vehicle of change, right? And by understanding that you're the vehicle of change in their life or the obstacle is the key differentiator. Because if you don't sell their home, if you don't say, if you don't do what you say you're going to do, if you don't get them to, let's say somebody's moving to North Carolina from Florida. Well, I'm moving there because of the weather. Oh, fantastic. Well, there's a lot of great places with weather. Why North Carolina? Well, um, it's our uh, daughter that our daughter's living there. And, um, oh, great. Your daughter? No kidding. Any grandbabies? Yeah, we just had one. They're, 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 uh, they're just born. And we don't want to miss a day of their life. Okay, see, you don't stop at the first piece, okay? Because it's just, you have to put yourself in someone's shoes. Someone's drilling you with questions that you don't know. You have to be, you have to understand this and you have to dig deeper. Don't take the surface level. To be the vehicle of change, you have to understand what that true desire is. And every day, once you get the listing, okay? And this is the last piece on this. Once you get the listing, and this is a huge nugget. If every day that doesn't go by, and the stronger their motivation to sell is, and to get to their grandbabies in North Carolina, the more they see you as the obstacle to achieve, not just selling their home, because yeah, it's about selling their home, and it's about the money, but it's about more than that. It's about what that money means to them, and what they can do with that, and if they can take that money to move and be near their grandbabies. So don't be the obstacle, and just understand this. Boom, that's your uh, rundown. Wow, that's a lot of really good information. Well, I'm super grateful that you went ahead and shared this. So if anyone wants to know more about your program, share with us a little bit more about it. Sure. Um, so my program, I have a Cell University, which is, um, honestly, it's amazing. <laughs> I don't say that because like I created it. I say that because of the results that the agents um, that participate in this are receiving. And not only does someone get a for sale by owner masterclass with step A through 100 and Z on what to do step by step with instructional videos, with the scripts, with the plug and plays, the done for you's, not only do they get that, but they get that for all the main lead sources, expired and canceled, absentee owner, for rent by owner, uh, database, like all the main um, uh, lead gen topics and sources. And they also get 
sales mastery, which is understanding all of the psychological um, components to this, seven skills um, to, uh, to mastering the, the sales tactics, uh, tactics, the four laws of prospecting, like understanding that personality type and the human behavior. And I go very deep into those things and I give everyone roadmaps of like, okay, if there's a lead source that you're, that you're pursuing and you're going after, like we understand this because we understand what your strengths are. Now, this is the step-by-step. -step. This is the map that you should take with this stuff. So there's no confusion. There's support, accountability, everything, and people love it. So, um, you know, to, to get in touch about that, we don't have the sales page up yet because we just revised this whole thing and it's amazing. Um, but someone can just uh, email me for the information and, um, and then I'll get them the link to the sales page. What's your email, Jay? J-A-Y at J-A-Y-B-E-R-U be.com. So okay. my first step, my first and last name.com. Okay. So what's the investment for this? All right. You're going to be blown away. We had different ways to, uh, to deliver this in the past and we have delivered it in different ways. Um, and I had two options. It's like, okay, I either continue to deliver it the way that I am and not be able to give everything I got to people, or I can get as like as many agents that need this in here and give them all the support and accountability and everything they need in one place. So I decided to do that. Um, it's $79 a month. That's it. And you can cancel any time. Okay. So there's no tie-in, $79 a month. And if someone signed up tomorrow, literally within the next 30 days, if for some reason they say, um, you know what, it's not working for me. I'm not happy. Uh, I want my money back. We have a 30 day guarantee money back full. That's awesome. And what I love what you're doing, you and I had a conversation earlier. I work one on one. I have clients in all different industries and companies. And then my only mastermind right now that's available is for the agents who join me at eXp Realty as a WAP power player, right? So I love how you don't have the one on one. You have this group coaching no matter what. So it just complements each other really well. And um, what a great offer that you're offering to everybody. And I have a quick question about that. So is that where they could dive into as many of your trainings or is it one per week? Tell me more about that. Yeah, great question. So actually, that's that's all right here. I mean, they, this is what everyone gets that's uh, that's included, and um, everything is unlocked based on the roadmap that makes sense for them. So, like you know, for example, um, most agents don't have a business plan, but um, over the over agents making over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, one hundred percent of them have a written business plan. Yep. But the average real estate agent, okay, ten percent have a written business plan. So what does that tell you, right? That's a rhetorical question. Um, and then we have our time management issues. We don't track our numbers, so all that's included. And, um, and it's, it's custom tailored to everyone, so there's no loss. And we have an intro onboarding call. So yeah, they get access to everything. Super cool, awesome. And I totally agree with that about the business plan. I am such a planner. Um, you know, I love working with people and developing that business plan because you know, part of the wow power players and wowing people, growing your business, creating a wild life, you got to get off that hamster wheel. I call it the hamster wheel, coffee in hand, chasing the next deal, hair on fire and having a squirrel moment, right? I had a little squirrel mm -hmm. moment confession when I saw the really cool photo of the dog and the goldfish that you had on your slide. I just <laughs> there for a second. So, so we, we all encounter those, right? We all have them in life. And part of that is having a clear plan. You would not build a house without a plan. I've hired architects before. There's, and then now that, you know, I've actually, you know, added on my home and everything else, I wouldn't want to be the one adding onto my home. You hire the experts. So that's what you're there for. I'm there for you bring in experts to go ahead and, and you're a superstar at this. So I love that you got the FISBO, the mindset, the business analytics, the sales mastery and, and the buyer conversion. And I love that you're niched in the sales mastery because you're incredible at that, Jay. And I also want to say thank you to any of our listeners for John being such an incredible, not only real estate agent, coach. Um, also an amazing husband, your wife, and the two children you adopted in your lives and the impact you're making. So that wowed me and thank you for doing that. Thank you. Cause that is by far the thing, you know, that's the thing, the family, the impact. I love it. Okay. Everyone, J at J A Y B E R U B E. Um, that you can go ahead and reach him that way. And as always, you can go ahead and reach out to me through your favorite social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Love to hear your biggest challenges, what the perfect day looks like for you. Create the perfect day.com. Go ahead for a limited time. It's a gift, giving it away. Have an amazing day, Jay. Have an amazing day. Have a wow day to all of our listeners. Talk with you soon. Bye. See you guys. Go make money.